Hi folks, it's Mike here again with another video for you. It's been a while since my last one due to some dental work, but I'm all fixed now. After the last video, it's clear from some of the comments and questions that a look at the basics of the limit point would be useful. First of all, let's have a look at Rowcraft and see what it says are the five key principles of safe cornering. Be in the correct position on the approach. Be travelling at the right speed for the corner or bend. Have the right gear for that speed. Be able to stop in the distance you can see to be clear on your side of the road. Open the throttle enough to maintain a constant speed round the bend. Now the observant amongst you will see that those points map very nicely into Ipska. 1, 2 and 3 being position, speed and gear and 5 into the acceleration phase. 4 is relevant to both the speed and acceleration phases. This video is going to concentrate on the limit point, but I have another video that looks at the S, G and A of Ipska and using them in the correct order. I'll pop a link into it up in the top right hand corner. If you can't see that on your device, have a look at the Ipska playlist on my channel. Back to Rowcraft and the limit point. You may also hear it referred to as the vanishing point by some people. The limit point is defined as the furthest point to which you have an uninterrupted view of the road surface. This is where the right hand edge of the road appears to meet the left hand edge in the distance. Let's have a look at how we can use this to assist us, firstly on approach to a right hand bend. Here I have slowed the footage right down so we can examine what is happening. The limit point is positioned to the right of the bend. As I run the video you will see the point is static. The graphic bounces a bit due to the bumpy road. We are getting closer and closer so we need to reduce our speed so that we could stop if required. Now the point is starting to move away from us and we can adjust the throttle to keep a constant distance from it. With it moving away from us, this is where a lot of people get it wrong and start to turn in to resume a position towards the centre line much too early. We can't see down the road yet. As the video resumes and we go deeper into the corner, you'll see a white van in the distance. This allows us to turn in smoothly to resume a position central to our lane. If we had turned in early, we would have to steer away from that oncoming van. Another time, the oncoming vehicle may also be much closer. You'll see that the limit point has also raced away into the far distance. This means we can accelerate towards it. Quite a lot has happened in that slow motion clip, so let's watch it again and at full speed and realise just how little time has elapsed. It takes a lot of concentration to continually analyse the road ahead and the limit point is only one element of our information gathering.
The situation is just the same for a left hand bend with a small adjustment. This time the point is where the left hand side of the road meets the centre line. On this example the need for this is not so clear but on wider more sweeping roads using the right hand edge of the road can cause you to misjudge the clear space on your side of the road. Again I'll run this in slow motion first. Watch how static the limit point is requiring me to bring my speed right down. It then gently moves away and then races to the horizon. Precise use of the throttle allows us to keep the distance to the limit point constant and then accelerate as it rushes into the distance. Let's watch that at full speed now and then I'll show the raw footage of both the right and left bends being negotiated. I'll pop a link up in the corner to another of my videos looking at linking and combining successive bends. One final thought, I often hear the phrase chase the limit point. I'm not a great fan of that one. In these examples the bends have been basic and simple to illustrate the concept. In the real world bends also tighten up again. If you're on it too much it will catch you out. Smooth throttle inputs and a responsive gear will reduce the chances but we should always be ready to slow quickly if the limit point starts coming back towards us at speed. Hope you found this useful. If so, please like and subscribe and please share to any social media platforms or motorcycle forums you may read and post on. Until the next time, keep safe.